So let's see what's going uh, what's going on and we do have the eight of cups moving on in the world that is an ending and that is a moving on situation here we need to so for some of you the universe with the major arcana of the world is kind of telling us baby come on it's over the show is over let's take the popcorn bag and um whatever the glass and let's um let's go and might be a love situation or you have to end one to begin one because you have the world and you have the ace of cups right ace of cups is um love events but really is the beginning of right it is a cup of love and offer but with the world i'm kind of sensing that something has to end or maybe we need to move on in order to be available for a new cup and open up you have the world and you have open up that is the energy of the four of pentacles right we might be a little bit guarded we had experiences god knows it was difficult and now it's like no 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 let me take care of myself first and we do have the hermit might be a virgo in your life for this is the energy of wisdom learning the lessons shining a light on a situation on this ending of yours with the world and getting smarter and smarter and knowing exactly what this is all about because in Aquarius and air sign, what is, what is if not the mind and the clarity, right? And the vision. So Aquarius, bottom of the deck, three of cups, six of cups, and two of swords. We are contemplating love, two of swords, temperance. Sagittarius energy, ace of swords. We love somebody like that is no tomorrow, right? Three of cups, we want to share. This is baby, this is my heart, I'm giving it to you. And the Six of Cups, you can run, you're my soulmate, you'll come back when, when the time is right, right? That's that's a soulmate energy. It's like, when it's yours, nobody actually can really take it away from you. And we do have the Ace of Swords, clarity of belief, new beginnings, um, temperance, building, patience, compromise, and the Two of Swords. That is refusing to see in this deck, but with, with this combination actually, it has a lot to do with you being in your mind about this situation. Sharing the love, sharing a bond with somebody, saying yes, developing an idea of, and um, finding um, common ground with this person. So let's see. Past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Let's have current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Oops. If it comes back again, we know it's yours. I know that was the six of wands being victorious. We'll see. Possible outcome on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Bottom of the deck, the emperor. Aries energy and eight of pentacles. Taking control and doing the work. Um... So let's see Aquarius, let's see in the past baby, on your side, what do we have? We do have the strength, Leo energy and the two of cups coming together. This reading is screaming soulmates all over the place. Um, two of cups, you having a lot of love with this person, for this person. Um, the strength is of course being on your best behavior and being very courageous about this love, being very, um, you know, having this um, firm conviction, you know, that they are the one and Really, this is the energy of um, effort to come together with this person, right? This is the energy of we have to be together. And um, might be a Leo, strong energy of Leo, strong energy of, um, of such that is here. Um, and tons and tons of love, right? Um, and attraction, of course, we know the strength is the energy of lust, the energy of, um, of, your, of the body really screaming. Um, with desire now this person of yours um aquarius they felt way too helpless and hopeless to give and receive somebody here thought about reciprocation but then they got scared uh they got bound to something this is a mental prison this is somebody seeing a lot of obstacles right this is somebody saying it cannot happen that there is no way i'm going to be successful um, and maybe that's how we get the refuse to see, actually, might be their energy, right? Refusing to see that that is a bond, that is a desire to reciprocate, that is a balance in this connection, and that is um, 
you know, a sense of um, fairness and justice and a sense of, uh, you know, when things feel right, that's a justice energy. And of course, can be a karmic bond and all that. But I, I'm, I'm more sensing like this person, um, you know, refuse to see that that is, um, that is a just right kind of energy because they were in their own mind. And maybe for some of you, they were not that ready. And guess what exactly? Coming from two different energies, right? We do have the Ace of Wands. Somebody here was very attracted to the other person, quite passionate. This is a sensual energy. While the other person was in their darkest fears. Nine of Swords, right? A lot, a lot of fear. And again, this energy of being in their mind. Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords is the energy of prisoners of the mind. It's the energy of trying to be um, kind of rational about um, but actually, it was um, making decisions based on fear, right? Just saying. This is how it feels. This is how they came to the to the table. Um, so Aquarius, what are we right now? We are in the Five of Pentacles energy, feeling alone, rejected, excluded, and the Three of Pentacles wanting to reach out. Um, still believing that this connection has potential, still wanting to build a life, something solid, grounded, stable with this person. And again, with the energy of reaching out, probably you reach out to them. Maybe you want to talk to them. It can be your want or can be what actually happens. And yet when nobody's watching, we are in this rejection energy of, um, you know, this illusion of we are not enough. We were not good enough. Um, and that is why and probably um ghosting five of pentacles is the energy of ghosting and kind of the stone wall right and um and it's still in your energy so we need to do something about now this person of yours they are in the listening energy and in the flow energy um this is kind of the universe taking over their life and and kind of um directing them um in the flow and we have them with the high priestess energy this is the energy of secrets and silence um this is also the energy of listening to their intuition staying quiet knowing that for now that is there are vibrations happening and that is destiny in charge and making the changes um you know that they are supposed to but i'm sensing more the energy of the flow and they are in this energy of the flow because they listen more to their body, to the, to their needs also, and, and an energy of um, this is my me time. I'm not sensing secrets, not with the Wheel of Fortune, but it might very well be somebody quite silent and observing you from a distance. Uh, and we know High Priestess is the um, I know card. So they might, this is the energy of keeping tabs, right? And, um, and really being there. And for some of you, they are going through Actually, an awakening, we know high basis is the energy of spirituality and awakenings, just like the judgment, but you know, kind of uh, more um, um, internal storm kind of awakening, you know, because it's really listening to them and their needs and what their body is telling and accepting the flow of energies around them. Now, mutual energies between you and this person, we do have again the Ace of Cups, right? Love abundance, there is love uh, in this connection, there was passion in the past, there is love, there was love on your side, and Seven of Pentacles. I believe both of you, you are waiting for love or the right moment to love, right? Or the right moment to make an offer, that's exactly how it feels, um, and we do have a waiting results. So you felt you've invested in this connection, so you expect it's simply normal. I mean, I love you. Why Why can't I get the cup, you know? And um, the Seven of Pentacles, because it's uh, awaiting results, right? It's the harvest. It's the right time. So, and you and this person, you feel that you've invested and it will, it will come. It's a matter of uh, when and it's not a matter of if, right? Now, moving forward... The last week of May, we do have the moon, maybe Pisces energy, and we do have the five of wands. So we need to confront the challenging times. You might feel something is wrong, something is off, and kind of with the moon, the universe is saying, why don't you look the fear in the eye, right? That's the uh, the moon card. Um, it's how about we shine a light on this, uh, on these shadows and whatever keeps us, um, you know, feeling alone and rejected. And um, how about we um, 
you know, settle the scores with the Five of Wands because this is internal struggle. This is you be putting yourself in a turmoil. They've been afraid all along and now you are afraid. It's like, you know, go figure. Because that is a lot of love, so there is no reason. But we still need to confront the fears and that's exactly the energy. Confront the challenging times and the fear. Now this person of yours, they do have the tower. They are going through a tower moment. We all do right with the pandemic times and stuff and they are staying strong in the struggle we have rebuild and we have control so somebody here of course can be a leo um in trouble but they are so in trouble you know it's like um you know putting their life back the strength is being courageous being um you know um on their best behavior but doing what's right knowing that they need um, you know, to rebuild their life in some way, start over, start from scratch and um, and having something because the universe kind of showed them um, red flags and they finally listened because that's exactly the energy. They finally listened, right? Go with the, went with the flow. This is the energy of accepting what's coming and based on it, rebuilding because they really listened. Um, mutual energy, strengthening bonds. I love this. And the Four of Cups, right? Somebody was not paying attention. Somebody was not seeing the, the offer. But now they do. Now they do. But if they have to rebuild something first. And I feel this is what they are doing. While well, we might be a little bit Aquarius afraid that, um, you know, there is an energy of fear on your side. So actually, I'm not sure that is a reason to be afraid. Because they are actually awakening and listening and paying attention and rebuilding whatever they need to rebuild to get themselves back into the flow um so yeah but let's see the guidance we receive right <clears throat> let's see the guidance we receive and um it's it's crazy interesting um Aquarius and I don't know how you, you you resonate with energies and stuff but we had the ace of wands in the past right so it started kind of like a fling kind of like a sensual attraction oh my god you are so sexy you know kind of energy then we went to ace of cups that is love and now we go to the ace of pentacles and it's a beautiful energy of we can build on this you know it has potential and we can we can grow something of significance but it started with I kind of love your booty, you know, kind of energy. That's the Ace of Wands. I find you're sexy or something like that. And I see, you know, and uh, sensual attraction and chemistry. And it went to love and now it goes to, well, actually we can have something here. Um, so let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what we need to do because sometimes the universe says, baby, this is not for you. Time to move on. So let's see what we get here. And we have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Oh, and you have true love bottom of the deck. So um, we kind of need to, <laughs> I love the retreat. It's like, you know, we lock the door and we don't get out of the house for a month kind of energy, which is kind of like the social distancing a bit. Um, but this is, it's time to disconnect from the world. So I don't know if we are connected to multiple people, multiple energies um you know but we have yeah this is true love and how about we step back from all the social whatever let's stop posting pictures right and how about we live a little and yeah this is true love it says this is the romance of a lifetime and it's time to disconnect from other people whoever this applies to so let's have two guardian angels and we do have two of cups. We have twice the two of cups actually. So that is a lot of love in this connection. And um, Aquarius, a relationship grows closer as two people fall in love or a current relationship grows much stronger. Friendships may deepen into a spiritual connection. Mutual respect and understanding exist or will develop. Don't give up on relationships that feel challenging to you. That is still hope. And we do have the Messenger of Abundance, which is the Page of Pentacles. It's about career. We do have the Empress. I love this. Uh, so there is love here, right? This is more about career, but actually the uh, base of it, right? The uh, core of it is about offerings and, and um, 
and pages we know are about communication and it says wonderful news regarding your career a new job or promotion or acceptance into an excellent school comes into your life um, you might feel ready to do something that's challenging or fulfilling. This situation may involve someone who's fun to be around and sometimes mischievous. This person, who may be you, is youthful, optimistic, and very clever. We love this. It's about opportunity, right? We have two of cups and the energy of opportunity. So that is love in this connection, baby. That is a lot of love, actually. Now let's see what energies we need to get back into the flow. We have balance. You have balance twice, um, Aquarius. I don't know who's longing for balance, but we finally get some balance here. We have uh, temperance and now we have balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. So we need to get the energy of balance back into the flow. This is guidance. We might be out of balance or this connection might be and actually we do so without judgment. Indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. So if we feel we don't know what to do, actually you are guided to listen to your intuition because you know, you know when something is out of balance. We do have surrender to the passion. Of course, we have surrender to passion. We started with the Ace of Wands. Um, so Aquarius, get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and then let it flow. So we need to get the passion back into the flow, Aquarius. We might have um, judged situations more with the mind than with the, with the fire in your belly. I love this even more. Surrender to complete healing. I love this. Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. And bottom of the deck, we have worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Okay, so why worry? Actually, you know, I, you know, it's just um, in kind of um, um, it feels integrating, but that's more of a French word of a translation. It's like really, uh, you know, being aware actually that we don't have to worry because it doesn't change a bit. Um, Aquarius. This is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you, right? You have to stay strong and safe for me, please. Um, as always, let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.